Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, we're going to start with create new 3D design. We're going to name this one Capsule Fix. And this is a request from Brian. Once again, if you use search and you type capsule, we will find this shape right here, which is pretty darn cool, but it's got a glitch. Now, I was able to ignore this, but Brian said, hey, how can we get rid of it? I've got a way. Let me show you how to do it. So we are going to build this part from scratch. Once again, we're going to search. This time, we're going to type bent, and we're going to bring out the bent pipe. The numbers I'm going to use are 6 and 3, and then I'm going to use 6 for the arc diameter, bend angle of 180 degrees, and I'm going to set this to 2 and press enter, and 2 and press enter. So friends, all I did was a ton of guess and check until I got one similar to this. I'm going to rotate them so they're both facing the same way. You can see that's reasonably close to the same shape. If you want to get closer, of course, you can just take your numbers and adjust them till it does exactly what you want. Now we're going to take this and make a second one by doing Control D. I'm going to shift nudge to move it the other way and I'm going to flip it with the mirror tool. I want to snap it right to this spot. So friends, I'm going to use the work plane. You can hit the work plane right here or you could do the letter W for work plane. And then when I click this and hit D to drop, they are joined. I'm gonna put the work plane back down on the ground and let's bring out a cylinder. I wanna make the sides as smooth as they can get. And we're gonna simply move this in here. Remember that height of six? We can drop that in. I'm gonna give it a bevel of 2.5 and press enter. I'm gonna give it segments of 10. And then we can just nudge this into place until it smoothly fills in our shape. Friends, at that point, if you do Control G, your capsule is pretty darn close. Let's double click and let's just bring this out just a little bit further. I'm going to set my nudge to 0.1. So I want to bring it out so it just joins to these edges. Once again, I'm clicking on the orange one and just nudging it out so it becomes a better part of that shape. And then let's click and see how that works. Friends, I'm going to adjust this just a tiny bit more. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to just move it up and down a tiny little bit because I've got that point one. Now I can shift select the orange and the purple. And when I do a line, I'm going to align it to the purple. Notice I made it the boss. And when I click out here, I've got that height even a little better. You can tinker and adjust until you've got it the exact way you want. Now, friends, what I also want to show you is you can keep this forever. Remember, you can always switch to your creations. Click on your brand new awesome shape and hit create shape. I'm going to, of course, give it the name Capsule 2. I am going to say that this is my fixed capsule. And then, of course, I'm going to give it a tag of capsule so it's easier to search for. I never lock that part size. And bingo, I'm going to hit Save Shape. From now on, when I open Tinkercad, if I move to Your Creations, it will be there available to use in any project. Speaking of projects that use the capsule, this is my Tinkercad F1 racing car. We used the capsule here and here, and it turned out absolutely fantastic. Of course, if you're interested in this awesome beginner level tutorial, I'll have it in the cards and in the properties of this video. And of course, friends, I want to thank Brian for the awesome question. Friends, I do want to quickly remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then also day one lessons, useful starters, and Tinkercad essentials. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Yeah.
Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.